Welcome back, it's Jerry here with the Happy Hootie to give you a wonderful life hack today on how to save some money on, of all things, iPhone cases. You could buy these cases for fairly cheap too, pretty expensive. But the problem we've got is we like clear cases. You spend money on these iPhones, you want to be able to show them off, am I right? So buy the clear cases, but the problem is over time, UV damage, nasty finger oils, makeup, hairspray, they end up turning these clear cases kind of a yellowed, brownish, patinaed color that is kind of nasty. So I've looked up some different home remedies we can use to try on this phone case to see if we can't give it some life. In fact, I happen to have three nasty looking phone cases because I was not aware that you could bring these back to life. So we're gonna try three household methods and see which one works the best. The three different methods that I found online that we're gonna to try today. One is that to use toothpaste, a toothbrush, and Dawn dish soap. I happen to have some Dawn power wash that's kind of a concentrated version of that, so I'm gonna use that on test subject number one. Test subject number two is going to be receiving a treatment of some salt, which happens to be some Epsom bath salts, as well as some of this hydrogen peroxide. And the last one we've got here is the tried and true uh, baking soda and white vinegar. That'll create, of course, a fun bubbly reaction. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the brush to go ahead and scrub all three of these and we're going to let all three of them sit for about 30 minutes. Pull them out and see what we think. For our first trial here, we're going to go ahead and squirt a little bit of this powder. Wash Platinum, it's Dawn dish and a little bit of water down here. And we're going to squirt it on the case. And then it said just to go ahead and get that on there and apply some of this toothpaste to it. Glob some of that on there and just brush it on. This feels so stupid. I'm brushing your teeth and brushing your iPhone case. For test subject number two, again, we're gonna use some of this Epsom bath salts and kind of create a little bit of a paste. Putting some of that in some water. And we're supposed to take this and put this on this case. And then we're gonna put some of this hydrogen peroxide in here and scrub it all around and then let it sit for the 30 minutes. And our last is the tried and true baking soda and vinegar mix. So we're gonna put a little bit, just touch of this in some water. Again, it's a little water base to kind of create a little bit of a paste. We're then going to go ahead and brush that on and get that all over this thing and smash it around in here and get it all, all in there. And then we're gonna add some vinegar to it. Now we've got all three of these things set up. We've got the vinegar, and we've got this mixture, and we've got the toothpaste mixture. Now we're gonna set a timer for about 30 minutes. And we'll let you know what we think. It's been 30 minutes, and I can tell you by looking at all three of these that it appears that it has done absolutely nothing. So I cannot see that these any one of these has actually done much of anything as far as taking the yellowish color off of there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these, we'll use this middle one here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and combine the liquid from all these cleaners into this one bucket to make one super solution. Oh, princess, what a lovely smell you've discovered. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there, scrub that around, and let that just, it's just chain reaction foaming every which way. We're gonna kinda of let that go in there. With the other two, they didn't actually do anything at all. They're still very much brown and not clear. My wife said to use some of this Dawn and vinegar mix. So she mixes this up and uses this a lot for cleaning. So this is just regular Dawn dish soap and vinegar. So we're gonna squirt that on there and scrub that around on that guy. And then in the other one over here, we're gonna use a mixture of some water. And about a 50-50 water and bleach mixture. Now you don't want to get this on your hands, so obviously if you're going to be messing with this, make sure that you use your gloves. And we're going to go ahead and scrub that around on there with this, with the bleach mixture. And we're going to let this sit in there, the Dawn one sit in there, and our Frankenstein mixture that is still, look, look in the sink, what this thing is, dude, it's still just going nuts. We're going to let all those go for another half an hour and see if that is any different.
Okay, I went ahead and went out to eat. It's been about three hours now since I put these in there. Uh, I can tell you from looking at this, this is the one that's been sitting in the bleach mixture now. Uh, it feels like it is a little flimsier than it was when it went in, so it's just a real reassuring. Uh, I don't see that it has gotten any better. It still definitely has some dark color to it, although it even looks like it possibly is starting to come, come apart, so I would probably not recommend the bleach. This is the vinegar and Dawn mixture that my wife thought would be a good idea. We've tried it. I don't think that it has done anything either. It's kind of taken on a little bit of a purpley looking color. And this is the Frankenstein mixture that has everything we could come up with except for the bleach. And it actually has gotten worse, I believe, <laughs> since it's when it went in. It is now turning more of a brown color. So, in conclusion, unless you guys online have come up with some better way to do this, the best thing I can tell you is get a new phone case if it gets to this point. Hope you found this helpful. If not, at least a little entertaining. Again, I'm Jerry with the Happy Hootie, and we'll see you again next time.